Rappers and welcome to the sweetest ring. I've had a lot of nightmares with Samara Morgan when I was younger and now I'm going to have my revenge. It's finally arrived. It cost me almost a year of saving up enough money, but with the latest sale I was able to buy the latest 3D home cinema TV set at last. And the perfect timing to get cursed as well. And for Samara Morgan to come out from my TV. Thank you Akip Electronics for that sale. It took a few hours to set up, but I'm finally ready to give this baby a try. Unfortunately I didn't have enough money left to buy a bunch of the newest 3D blockbuster movies, but luckily I found this obscure 3D B movie for a decent price in the store discount bin so I can give the 3D functionality a try at least. Guys, if you never want to get cursed, don't grab a 3D movie from the bin at the back of the store, please. Weirdly enough, the box the movie disc is in looks like it's quite old, but that can be true considering how new this technology is, and I made sure the disc is in the right type for this system. I can always save up for more movies later, for now I'm just happy I will be able to experience this. The 3D on this thing doesn't require special glasses or anything and supposedly it looks amazing even from weird angles. This TV really is a top of the line product. I actually have some 3D glasses, but they only work on the cinema. Alright then, let's see what this movie is all about. I insert the shiny disc in the home cinema's movie player. I use Premiere Pro, thank you so much. Um, there's no picture yet. What does that mean? Is this a fake? Was I ripped off? Or did I buy the wrong kind of movie? <laughs> oh no! Is an adult movie? No, no. But I checked that carefully. It's, it's a correct type of disc. Wait, it started moving now. The static begins. The black screen turned white for a moment, but it quickly turns into random visual noise. Looks like the disc might be broken. I get up from the couch feeling a little dejected. I've been looking forward to this for ages now, after all. While I'm thinking about how to go about returning it, I hear a loud tripping sound coming from the screen. She's already dripping? Let's go. Is the sound from the movie actually playing? Maybe I set up the wrong channel for the video part or something? Wait, something is happening after all. I quickly sit back as a black spot appears on the screen. It quickly spins and starts coming out of the screen. I can really see the 3D effect. Is that hair? Is it the head coming out of the screen? Is she already coming out? We probably began. That's a little creepy, but from the description on the back of the box, it did sound like this is supposed to be a horror movie, so I guess I should be too surprised. Luckily, I'm actually quite good with horror movies. They never really scare me. And we are cursed now. At least I have my tissue. Before long, I see a human hand reaching out of the screen as well, and then a pair of shoulders, followed by another hand. Are you really focused about the shoulders? You should be focused on other things. My milk is... Wow, it looks so real! This is amazing! As expensive as it was, with 3D imagery like this, it was totally worth it. As more of the person's long black hair comes out of the screen, I realize it must be a woman. Oh, really? Who that thought this would be a woman? She looks a little pale. I wonder whether I should play around with the screen settings a little more to get a more realistic skin tone. She's supposed to be a ghost, it's part of the movie. <laughs> The woman slowly rises from the screen and turns to look at me, staring directly at me with glowing red eyes. Or one eye at least. Oh no, she's disabled. God damn it, god damn ghosts. As the other is obscured by her slightly frizzled yet beautiful black hair. What the hell? The way she's looking at me almost makes it seem like she can actually see me. I walk away from the screen to test it out, expecting her to keep staring at whatever the movie produces expected the audience to be sitting. But to my surprise, her gaze follows me and she actually starts scrolling in my direction. Have you thought about, I don't know, taking off the glasses? She is right there! Why is she so little compared to my TV? She steps out of the TV completely and stands up, and to my shock she keeps walking straight towards me. This is incredible! I had no idea the range of the 3D effect could go this far from the TV. Just remove your glasses from your forehead, man! From your hands, from your eyes. And I thought this was supposed to be a low-budget movie, but these special effects are amazing. It's almost like there's a real person in my living room. Sayako. One, two, Sayako is coming for you. Wait, that's Freddy's song. Song, not yours. Not from FNAF, from uh, Elm Street. Wow, it's even like the sound's coming from the woman's direction. The woman steps closer and attempts to grab me. It's so realistic, I dodge her hand out of visiting. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 not today. She looks up at me, clearly frustrated that I got away from her. How did they even manage to make this? I'm going to get you. Um, yes, I wonder what will happen when you do get me. I don't mind if she got me, if she looked this way, or if she wasn't going to kill me. I will kill you. Okay, thank you so much. Can I return this movie now, or is it too late? Wait, can you actually hear me as well? Before I get an answer, the woman approaches me again. She slowly gets closer and suddenly lunges at me once she's close enough, trying to scratch me with her nails. At least it looked clean for me. Yeah! This is incredible, it's like a VR experience, but without the headset. The woman attacks me once again, but this time I don't have enough time to react and she manages to grab my arm this time. Ha! Can you please leave my arm alone? I have herpes in my arm. I can actually feel her, this shouldn't be possible. Ah! 
Ah, B, C, D, what do you want? As she keeps putting pressure on my arm, I can actually see my skin indenting from her force. Wow, you're so amazing, incredible, dude. Be scared now. The glasses are only for visual effects, not for physical interactions. She looks at me with a slightly confused expression. It's kind of some shit. Can I touch you as well? I want to try it. Eh, eh? She's still holding onto my arm, so she can exactly deny me right now. You consent to this, sorry. I put my hand firmly on her shoulder, and it actually feels solid. I attempt to feel the texture of her skin, to see if it really is a special effect or something, but it feels like actual skin. This Amaya Morgan died when she was 20-something years old. This is a different timeline. As she's growling, she loses her grip on my other hand. So I use the opportunity to escape from her grasp and start petting her on her head with my newly freed right hand? Why are you petting her? She's not the dog. She may be white, but she's not the dog. She seems to calm down a little and looks up at me again. Are you not scared of me? Are you not going to kill me if I'm not? Of course not. I'm only amazed by you. I move my left hand down from her shoulder until I touch her. Uh, excuse me. What type of pervert are we? Yeah! She shrieks and jumps backwards, but this time it sounds more like the shriek of a scared woman rather than an angry one. Oh, wow, your skin is so smooth and pleasant. She looks up at me and shakes her head. You, you can't just touch me in a place like that. I'm sorry, I was just curious. Curious about what? Just ask her first, okay? She puts her head down, looking dejected. I can't believe this. Even as a death spirit, I'm a failure. <laughs> Poor girl. All I wanted to do is scare a few people to death, but I can't even do that. Can you write me a list of how many people that have you killed? Or am I not the first one? She walks back to the TV with a depressed look on her face. Bye. See you soon. I know how to find you. So much for taking my revenge on the world. She sadly crawls back into the screen. Despite the fact that she's just a 3D projection, I feel a little bit sad for her as well. She sure does have a nice backyard though. Please, don't take advantage of Samara. Sayako, sorry. Last night was enough amazement for one day, but tonight I want to try that 3D horror movie again. I want to see that sexy lady again. Oh, she's back! Why did she look so scared now? <laughs> Our rules inverted! I turn on the TV in the video. It takes a while again, but eventually the woman crawls out of the TV once more. I wonder whether things will play out differently today. After all, I know I can touch her now, but will she attack me again? I have my word of war if she does. As she slowly rises from the TV, I try to gauge her mood by the look on her face. She seems more surprised rather than angry this time. Oh, you creeper again! Hello again! <laughs> she fully emerges from the TV and stands up again. She then points at me. Is she angry at me again? Red room, red room, red room! Red room? You want some rum? I don't know. I get up and get her a glass and bottle of rum from the kitchen. It's brown rum, so I hope that's okay too. I pour her a glass. I wonder if she can actually drink it. She looks confused. What's her name? She looks up at me in a bit of a daze. What? What's your name? Uh, why should I tell you my name? I feel like we're friends now. I met you twice in a row. No, no way. I'm here to kill people. I'm not your friend. I think you're secretly a nice girl though, and you don't seem like you actually want to hurt me. And I have your movie though, so you're not going to kill more people. Yeah. You don't know me? Then why don't you tell me who you are? I'm interested in getting to know you better. I'm a ghost, you know. Do you have any idea what I'm capable of? A ghost, huh? Well, what's wrong with you? A normal person would be scared to death, literally. Sayako, you literally don't kill people scared to death. I don't know what you actually do, but it's not that, I think. I see. I'm not really scared, though. Just interested. So what's your name? Uh... Oh, right, so you were singing your own name when you first came out of the TV. Anyway, I'm... I'm the TV owner. I mean, that's who I am, right? Nice to meet you. I hold out my hand to shake, but she just looks at it without reacting. Shake it, Tayako. It's like this, you know? If you're a ghost, how come I could touch you yesterday? Through that cursed video, I'm able to manifest in the real world in a way that allows me to physically hurt my victims. The downside is that they can touch me too. Not before you kill them first. What's wrong with that? Your skin felt nice and smooth. Thank you. Which is weird because she lives on the bottom of a well. How are you able to be manifested in the real world anyway? Are you really a ghost? <sighs> I guess I can tell you since you're so interested in me. My soul is sealed inside of that cursed video disc. Wait, I thought it was just a 3D movie. It's hard to believe it's really a cursed disc. I thought it was a VHS tape. You believe I'm a 3D projection but thought it's a cursed video? Yes. It's more believable. Ha <laughs> I guess maybe this really is a little too impressive, even for the newest TV. So why did your soul end up in a disc? I put it in there myself with a curse as I swore revenge upon the world. So you went through an emo phase, huh? Don't call me an emo, sorry! You're a goth girl? She actually seems really cute when she's mad. 
where? Once she loosened up a little, me and Sayako actually got along quite well. I started up her curse video whenever I had a chance and we ended up becoming very close. I'm still gonna die seven days later, right? Seven months later? Is she pregnant? Oh no! She looks nice now. Sayako is humming as she's admiring the shining ring on her finger. Is the wedding ring I gave her a few weeks ago when I asked her to marry me? She's a ghost! You cannot marry a ghost! Can that guy find the real life girlfriend? Since then, we've had the small ceremony in our own home since we can't exactly be public about our relationship for obvious reasons. So we can't really get married then. I don't think the state would recognize a marriage with a dead person either. Not when you marry them after they have died, at least. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Is it okay if I call it a day? Oh, so we don't even sleep together? Of course, but I was wondering if you want to spend the night with me in bed. <laughs> Honey, you know I can sleep properly outside of the TV. These escalated really quickly. Well, I was wondering whether we could do something besides sleeping, actually. We didn't do anything in seven months. Such a honey perf, but not tonight, okay? I smile. Sure thing, my love. She smiles back at me before leaning in and giving me a quick peck on her lips. Give me a French kiss right now. Good night, baby. Good night. I turn on the cursed video so Sayako can crawl back into the TV. It is getting pretty late, so maybe I should call it a night myself. I grab the remote and turn off the TV altogether. But she's still there! Hey, I can move! Huh? Uh, honey, did you do something? I'm stuck! Oh, she's stuck! Like uh, when this cat stuck inside the washing machine, right? Is that how it works? The TV has to still be on for her to finish crawling into or out of the TV? It seems like a pretty big weakness for her curse. Imagine if she's crawling out of the TV and then her remote runs out of battery. I'll walk back towards the couch so I can use the remote to turn the TV back on for her. But as I catch the sight of her, I can't help but change my mind. Let's try to take advantage of the situation, even if it's just for a minute. She's my wife, right? We've done this before. Eek! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Just trying to pull you out. Come on! Come on, just... Just come! I grab her and try to pull a few times, but she really is completely stuck in there. It's not working! Um, how about killing two birds with one stone? What do you mean? Anyway, so what if I try to push you as I help you from this side? H how can you be thinking about that at a time like this? I'm sorry, but you're too much for me not to think about it. Oh, uh, uh, good morning, good evening, I don't know, what time is it? Are you sure you're not in the mood yourself? Maybe I am a little. So maybe it was a good thing you got stuck, Sayako? So, would you like me to keep pushing you? Um, only because it might get me unstuck, okay? Sure thing! I smile at her, but she can see me for obvious reasons. Her upper torso is inside of the TV already. You as moist as that well, babe! S -s -s stop with that, you bastard! Hurry up! I knew it! You want this as much as I do! Right away, honey! It's so weird that we're married now. I can't help but smile as I hear it. I hope nobody else hears her from the other side of the screen. She starts screaming, but she doesn't seem to be in pain. It must not be a very comfortable position for her to be honest. She's finally being honest. But part of her was not being honest. I grab her by her black hair and try to yank her head back while pulling at her waist at the same time. It's not working though. She's very much still stuck in the TV. Doesn't seem like she's as worried at being stuck as before. So she sleeps better inside of her well than in my bed? I'm only realizing that now. Don't just dare stop now! I'm almost there! You almost don't, I know. Can we have little babies together? They'll be so nice. Half humans, half ghosts? Phew, that was amazing. I feel satisfied and tired all at once. That was nice, but I'm still stuck. Maybe this will help. I grab the remote and turn the TV back on. She falls into the TV right away. You knew this was the solution the entire time, didn't you? Yes, I did. But you're my wife now. Still, right? You still want to marry me, right, Sayako? I hear the angry voice from the TV. Sorry. Perverts. I smile. I'm just too happy to have such a great wife. And a ghost one. I pick up the remote and turn off the TV for the rest of the night this time. A few days later, me and Sayako are watching a random sitcom episode on TV when a thought occurs to me. Hey, I'm wondering. You want that again? No. Actually, well, yes, but first, I'm wondering whether the cursed video is the only thing on TV you can crawl into. Oh, that's a good thought. What do you mean? Like, could you crawl into what's on TV now as well? I doubt it. It's just normal TV after all. Have you ever tried? Well, no, I haven't. Could you try now? I'm curious. Uh, okay, I guess, but don't be disappointed when it doesn't work. Sayako gets up from the couch and walks over to the TV. She then sits down on the floor in front of it. Here goes nothing. I'm going. Oh, she's going. What sitcom are we watching? Are we watching friends? She moves her hands towards the screen and towards surprise, they actually enter the screen. She continues and crawls into the TV like usual as if it's the cursed video. She ends up inside of the sitcom's current scene in a New York apartment. It is friends. It's Jennifer. It is friends. <laughs> well, did she come from? They can actually see and interact with her? Wow, Sayaka's magic never ceases to amaze me. Oh, oh, hello! 
She's pretty. How you doing? Sayako ended up hanging out and communicating with the series cast for the rest of the episode as I watched along. Once the credits start rolling, she crawls back out of the TV. I wonder if she can get stuck inside of the TV. Wow, that was amazing, babe. So what do you think? It was weird at first, but I enjoyed it. It was fun meeting the characters I've been watching. I smile. So she's not killing people anymore. I'm glad we gave it a shot. Let's do that again someday. I give her a hug and she happily returns it. When will it get married? This was me and my wife, Sayako. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to watch more of the sweetest dream, don't forget to tell me in the comments. Say good, good, and of course, that was seven days.